Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we are going to be playing at Borussia Mönchengladbach in the first knockout round of the Champions League. Of course we're going to play through both legs. There's going to be four games in between which we will review. But of course there's been two fixtures that we've missed since the last time we've met. The first fixture which was just after the January transfer window closed was a home tie in the Premier League against Wolves and we struggled in this game to really take control but thankfully a 92nd minute goal from substitute Reese James got us the win. We then went away from home against Fulham and won quite comfortably 3-0. Luca Pellegrini getting two goals from left wing back and Dodo getting the other. And this is how the Premier League table looks after those set of fixtures. We are now within one point of Manchester City with a game in hand and we're also now only four points away from Arsenal with the game in hand so things really have turned around in the league in the past couple of games Arsenal losing against Chelsea losing against Manchester City both away from home which is absolutely brilliant to see so we are now the only club in the league who have only lost one game all season but moving away from the Premier League the Champions League is of course the focus and Borussia Mönchengladbach are at home well we are at home against Mönchengladbach in today's first leg this is how we're going to line up Pickford and goal Kera, Batella and Onjean as our centre-backs, Dodo and Luca Pellegrini as our wing-backs with Renato Sanchez in the box-to-box -box midfielder role and Mariba partnering him as the Metzala in centre of midfield. Danny Olmo comes in as the attacking midfielder. Erling Haaland has returned from injury and he gets his place back in the striker spot. Esposito is on the bench for today's game. He might get some game time in the second half if things uh, permit, as long as he's, you know, we might, we might need him basically what I'm saying. Wayne Nulls will of course partner Haaland up top in Esposito's absence. So Monch and Gladbach actually have a pretty good squad. They've got the likes of Timo Werner up front, Odegaard playing in behind. I recognise Aaron Martin and Zakaria. Um, Aaron Martin, I think I had him for West Ham. He was absolutely fantastic left back and Zakaria is always a good defensive midfielder on football manager. He looks absolutely phenomenal for them. So you can see why they actually ended up winning their Champions League group so we're going to have to be at our best today this is not going to be a walk in the park and this could be where we exit the competition our board did expect us to get to this stage so it wouldn't be the end of the world but of course we want to progress first highlight of the game two minutes in Luca Pellegrini tries to play the ball down the left hand side but it gets cut out by the Munch and Gladbach defence and they can mount their own attack down their left hand side with Martin Odegaard and Aaron Martin combining on this left hand side the ball is switched to Zakaria there is a pocket of space on the right hand side of the goal for a but Werner goes for goal and that was pretty close. Straight away we move off the attacking team mentality. It isn't serving us too well in the opening 10 minutes if the match stats are to be believed. And this is the second highlight of the game as Turam comes forward. Pickford, that should have been 1-0 Munch and Gladbach and they are really dominating this game. The boys really aren't performing. We've moved back to a cautious team mentality now to see if we can maybe get a foothold on the ball and not drive forward too much and allowing them to keep possession as there is a third highlight of the first half. It's Dodo plays the ball into Haaland who plays the ball over the top for Wayne Knowles and Wayne, that was such a clear good opportunity. Should be burying that and we should be 1-0 up going into half time. But both sides having good chances in this first half and if the first half's anything to go by, this might be a really, really difficult tie. The first half's over, 0-0. Let's kick off for the second. The second half, absolutely nothing happening right now. 20 minutes to go. We will look to bring on Esposito over Wayne Knowles, who hasn't had the greatest game. And we'll take off Luca Pellegrini for Josh Tymon. And Rhys James will come on for Dodo. We'll make all three substitutions. Get some of our boys fresh legs on. We've gone back to a positive team mentality. See if we can take this game to Borussia. I'm going to go attacking as well for the final 10 minutes. We need a goal in this first leg. With us being at home and the away leg coming, oh, it's going to be incredibly difficult if we end up with a nil-nil draw from this first leg. Olmo plays a corner in, it's cleared. And that's the end of that. We've gone slightly more direct for the final five minutes or so. It doesn't look like it's going to make too much of a difference as the final minutes tick away. Nothing happening, neither side taking control in this match. And we cancel each other out. Sheffield United nil, Borussia Mönchengladbach nil. That is not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. Looking around at some of the first leg ties, it wasn't a very high score in the first leg in the Champions League knockouts. Arsenal being confident against Benfica. Liverpool getting a good draw against Juve away from home. Lazio looks like they've taken charge against Atletico Madrid. But it will be 
a big, big shake-up in the first knockout round. I think a lot of big teams will exit the competition at this stage. And it looks like it might be us among them. In terms of the games in between, we've got Newcastle in the Premier League, Chelsea, um, Aston Villa in the FA Cup, and then Everton back in the Premier League. I'll play those games and we'll see them after. So we've played through our games. We are at the second leg. We'll quickly see the fixtures that you've missed. The first of which was in a weird draw against Newcastle. A very disappointing result. Newcastle on the best side in the league currently. So if, regardless whether it's away from home or not, we should be winning this, but we didn't. Door door with the first goal in the 22nd minute and Gabriel Barbosa equalised for them just before half time. Then a fantastic, fantastic result. We won 3-2 against Chelsea away from home. We were 2-0 up. Esposito and Dodo getting the two goals there. But Reese Newton came on, I believe. I think I think he started from the bench and got two goals in eight minutes to equalise things at 2-2. And I did think that was going to be that, the end of the game. But Reese James came on in the 66th minute and scored in the 90th to give us the three points. Next up was an away tie, a, a, away tie, a home tie against Aston Villa in the FA Cup. We rotated pretty heavily for this game, um, just trying to keep people fresh for the Champions League and the domestic uh, league. But we ended up winning 1-0 anyway. Iliax Mariba getting a goal in the 86th minute. We absolutely battered Aston Villa, but we just couldn't get the goals. And finally was a home tie in the Premier League against Everton. And we absolutely smashed them 5-0. Esposito with one. Haaland with a hat-trick. And Wayne Knowles came on and got a goal in the 86th minute to round out the five. And that sees us lying in the Premier League. We're sitting second. We have overtaken Manchester City, who have been dropping points with a game in hand as well. So we could go within three points of Arsenal, who currently sit top of the table. We need Arsenal to really start dropping even more points. They have slipped up in the second half of the campaign. I need them to do it some more. But that takes us to today's game against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Just to recall, we drew 0-0 in the first leg, which obviously isn't ideal. Going into the away leg, we know what we need to do. Draw, a score draw will see us through, or a victory will of course see us through. But Mönchengladbach have a much better side than was anticipated. So it's going to be incredibly difficult. But this is how we're going to line up. Pickford and goal. Bella Kocha, Patella and Onjin in the defence. With Dodo and Pellegrini being our wing-backs. Mariba and Dani Olmo in the centre. As Renato Sanchez is unfortunately suspended. Jean-Pierre will be in behind Erling Haaland and Sebastiano Esposito. Now let's see what the Mönchengladbach lineup is like. It's pretty much the same. As it was, Zakari is not starting, which is absolutely nice to see. Let's see if this is a decent replacement. It is absolutely not. So that is definitely a downgrade for them. They've got the likes of John Sutoa, who I didn't notice in the first leg. Maybe I just completely overrode that. Um, the keeper is a regen. He's not very good. You know, the more I look at their squad, the more I think we should actually be winning this. But the likes of Timo Werner, of course, is going to cause us problems. Alongside Martin Odegaard playing in behind him. So... The stage is set. We know what we need to do. We would really like to get to the next round of the Champions League. Let's see how it goes. First highlight of the game, 40 seconds in. It all comes from a Mönchengladbach goal kick. And they have worked it lovely down the left-hand side for Timo Werner. We managed to get clear. We don't bring it under control though. And they regain possession. Some fantastic play in the centre there. Stengs finds itself in behind. It's two on two there. If we were to win this... Oh, well, that, that was that then. Eight and a half minutes in now and we are on the attack this time with Esposito playing a back to Dodo on this right hand side. He's just standing there on the ball. He finds Esposito. Mariba on the edge. Oh, he goes just over. 20 minutes in now. There is another highlight. It's Monch and Gladbach on the attack with Odegaard on this right hand side. The ball's whipped in. Bella Kochap just about gets his head to it. We can't get it clear though and it falls back to Aaron Martin on this left hand side. Timo Werner standing in an offside position if the ball was to be played in. Um, the ball is cleared and Monch and Gladbach and rebuild from the center of the park Ginter on this right hand side being tracked lovely by Danny Olmo gets the challenge in and again Pellegrini we are getting the challenges in just not winning the ball they've found space though so much space on this left hand side they go through the center though and finally find Aaron Martin in that part of the space on the left the ball's played in what a save but Odegaard is there is that offside ref it's not offside Borussia Mönchengladbach goal 1-0 up with Martin Odegaard's seventh goal of the season <sighs> Just a disappointing way to concede. Aaron Martin does very well to get to the byline and gets the ball in. Werner, fantastic save by Pickford initially, but Odegaard is left back post completely unmarked. And we find ourselves 1-0 down, 21 minutes in. Another highlight, it's Monchon Gladbach again on the attack. Bella Kotchap wins the ball from Werner pretty fortuitously there. 
And Erling Haaland can come forward for us. There's not very many in support, but Esposito is there. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Esposito, you've got to be burying that. Nothing changes from us from this position. We need a goal and we are through if it finishes 1-1. One -one. So, it, as a lot of the goal is obviously disappointing to concede. If we get one back, we are laughing. Pellegrini gets himself into the box. Ball's played in. The keeper claims it. Another highlight now. Dodo coming down this right-hand side. He plays the ball in. Esposito's there. Oh, he heads it just over the bar. We have had a couple of opportunities in this game, which we probably should have taken. And Pellegrini's coming straight off. I'm not even risking it. Josh Timon's a more than capable um, substitute. So we will get him off. And Daniel Almos to take a corner. It's claimed by the keeper. The highlight from the corner does continue. Onjin plays a forward. Erling Haaland's there. He beats his couple of men and then goes for goal. Oh, is, it, is it just going to be one of them days? I think I've got a feeling it is going to be. Borussia Mönchengladbach 1, Sheffield United nil going into the second half. No changes required just yet. We've already made one substitute. Um, we may have to change things up in the second half though as Danny Olmo with a free kick plays the ball in. Esposito's there and he wins the header. And he gets his 12th goal of the season and gets the tie levelled. That's absolutely what we needed two minutes into the second half. And Danny Olmo with an absolutely great free kick. Esposito rises high as the keeper should probably come and claim that, I would say. Um, a little bit of fall for that goal. But there's a highlight straight after. And it's Mönchengladbach on the attack. As you would imagine. Correa switches the play to Stengs. Who switches the play again to Churam. Get out, get out from Dodo. What a challenge that is, my son. Get the ball cleared. And he finds Erling Haaland. The ball finds its way to Mareba. They are all out of sorts. Mar oh my god, Mareba. You should be burying that, mate. There was three on two there. And we did not make the opportunity pair. Another highlight now. 55 minutes in. Josh Timon on the left-hand side. Finds Danny Olmo. Finds Dodo on the right-hand side. He cannot get the ball in, though. Aaron Martin. There's a couple of men there. Finds its way to Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre, please. Another highlight. 61 minutes in. Stengs. Coming down the right-hand side for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Ginter back to now. How, I don't like how this is going. I really don't. They are playing the ball well. They're keeping possession. We are not getting anywhere near the ball. And the ball's played into Churam. Pickford with a save. Jean-Pierre's not having a great game in the attacker midfielder role. We'll look to get Danny Olmo in that role. And we'll take him off. We'll get Marcus Antonio on in the centre of midfield. I'm not happy with Antonio, actually. He wants to leave the club because I didn't give him a new contract. So I have been avoiding actually playing them all together. Um, we'll get Dodo off as well. We'll bring on Reese James at the right wing back role. We will now look to go to a cautious team mentality for the first final 15 minutes. As early Haaland's in behind. And again, we can't beat the goalkeeper. Munch and Gladbach are going to have to start going for this. This is still in a positive team mentality. And cautious seems to be doing the trick. As time is ticking away, they went very attacking. And with four minutes remaining, there's a highlight. It is... Oh, well, we need this goal. No attacks, please. No high... Oh, no. No, 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 thank, thank you, two minutes, oh man, I don't want to highlight, it is a free kick for us near the centre circle, Haaland gets the ball down the right hand side, just kill time, kill time, 10 seconds to go, I think, I think we're through boys, I think we've just about managed to do it, a good Munch and Gladbach side, they have, they have definitely proved difficult opposition over the two legs, but we've done it, on away goals, Esposito's second half equaliser, taking us through to the next round of the Champions League. Absolutely fantastic stuff. As the look as to the other teams currently going to be joining us, Lazio, Arsenal, Barcelona, not out Manchester City, Bayer Leverkusen, not out Napoli, uh, FC Bayern beat Chelsea, Inter Milan, not out Paris Saint-Germain, that's a good result, and Liverpool beat Juve. So the quarterfinal draw isn't for a little bit away, but of course that will be the next episode, both legs of the Champions League quarterfinal, and you will find out who we are playing in the next episode. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like, and if you are enjoying my content, why not get yourself subscribed, however? But until next time, take it easy.